Good morning from a rainy taxi in Samsung, Turkey. We just checked out of our hotel and let me tell you something guys, that was a w bit of a weird experience. Hotel was not too great, but we enjoyed looking around and relaxing in Samsung for a few days. Nonetheless, we are now in a taxi on the way to the autogar or the bus station where we are going to be making our way to Trabzon. This is a place that has been recommended to us now many times to check out and we cannot wait to give you guys our first impressions. Hopefully the weather picks up a little bit before we get there. But nonetheless, let's go and explore Trabzon. All right, welcome to Samsung Autogar or Samsung bus station. This is where we're going to be taking the bus to Trabzon. So let's go. We got to go through security first and um, we'll show you guys around as well. All right, so we're basically just acquiring some snacks for the bus. Long journey ahead, roughly around six hours on the bus to go. So we're getting ourselves some burek and also some of this stuff as well, which we actually have never tried. Interesting nonetheless, no? It's always tough to get kind of enough food for a six hour journey. You cannot really plan ahead for that. Uh, unless you have a kitchen, obviously, so usually we kind of depend on the bus station shops. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, long journey ahead, but it should be an interesting one. We're basically traveling along the Black Sea, so... So throughout our journey through Turkey, we have been choosing um, Kamil Koç bus or the company called Pamukale because we figured out that you can kind of book with them online in advance now obviously you can always just show up at the bus station as well and get your ticket there and then but some buses are quite full so we usually like to book in advance just to be sure that we can get a specific bus especially if it's like a six or seven hour journey you don't want to be waiting for another two or three hours at the bus station for that bus to show up uh, in case it's full beforehand so we are always trying to just book it in advance, you know the price then and you know that you're where you're going to sit on the bus and obviously that you're going to be on that bus that you would like. Alright, so we are on the bus now and I'm amazed every single time we take a bus because Turkey is such a large country and we haven't had a single bus yet that was too late. Um, I don't want to jinx it, but um, so it is 4 to 10. The bus is supposed to leave at 10 and uh, it was perfectly on time. And this is going to be the situation now for the next six hours. Yeah, we got a long journey ahead of us, but thankfully we have snacks ready to go. Both of us are really tired because the hotel that we stayed in here in Samsung wasn't the best. We didn't make the best decision with the hotel, but we're definitely going to be having a nap on the bus, I think. 100%. I think I'm just going to pass out immediately. <laughs> We are at our very first stop right now. Um, we have half an hour break somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Um, I believe we are in between Ordu and Samsun. <laughs> I'm not too sure what the city is called that we are at right now, but um, yeah, it seems to be somewhere in the countryside. It's super cold here. Uh, we got off the bus and I thought I was going to freeze immediately. Um, Luke is already wearing kind of three shirts today. Uh, I'm just wearing one hoodie, so I'm a little bit cold. Did you find something to eat? Can't go wrong with some Haribo, no? Always some good. Bears. Always good German quality product, you know. Hans Riegel Bonn is from Germany. Only 50 lira for an Atatürk plate. It's a nice one. Seventy six lira for I think two bags of Haribo, two Mentos, uh, some Red Bull, and I don't know what else Luke got. What else did you get? We got a, a Red Bull and two Haribo. Oh, and open it. Red Bull, two Haribo, two Mentos. Seventy six lira. I cannot complain. But I would like to see if we can get a chai or something here because it, because it is pretty cold at the moment. Mm. 
Ready to go? Ja, we gaan Ja. Er Trabzon. Trabzon, even. Trabzon. Je drove van Ankara? Oh, Antalya. Antalya, Antalya. Oh. Oh. further than Ankara. Oh. It's a long way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you must be very tired. <laughs> So we made a quick little pit stop and we also drove through um, a city on the Black Sea that goes by the name of Ordu and it looks really luscious and green and uh, I think the reason why it's so luscious and green around the northern part of Turkey in the Black Sea region is because it quite literally hasn't stopped raining now for around three hours. We've been on the bus for quite some time. We have around another hour and a half to go and it has not stopped. It's absolutely pummeling rain and it's been doing this same rate of rainfall now for, as I said, roughly around three hours. It's crazy. Uh, I don't know, like when we're going to arrive in Trabzon, um, the hotel is I think around like 500, 600 meters by foot or so. Um, but we will have to walk through the rain with our backpacks and no raincoat, so uh, that's going to be fun, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's been a big change for us. We went, or we came from the southern coast of Turkey where the sun was shining 24 7, and now we have this. But nonetheless, we'll catch up with you guys when we arrive in Trabzon. you guys we just ran through the rain to get to our hotel but thank god we arrived i'm um, sorry for not filming the part but it was just raining way way too much but we can show you around our beautiful hotel here in trapson so you come in and you have this nice large room it's so much better than i expected to be honest it looks really nice very very clean um in our last place in Samsun, I don't know if you, if Luke already talked about it at the beginning of the video, but we weren't so lucky with the hotel. So in this time, we are so, so happy to be in a perfectly clean and nice place. Um, but Trabzon is very, very rainy. As you can see, the view, oh, there in the distance, you can actually see the sea, the Black Sea over there in the distance. And uh, our hotel is basically located um, kind of in the middle of an uh, industrial zone where a lot of car garages are. But um, we already walked, while walking through the city in the rain, uh, we saw that there's lots of restaurants and bars. So we might go to get something to eat because we haven't really had anything substan substan substantial. substantial yet. We only had kind of like cookies and... Uh, like little bits and pieces of candy here and there, as you saw. So we definitely need something to eat. It's coming up to 4 p.m. in the day. Uh, yeah, so let's go and check out Trepsel maybe a little bit. By the way, I'll give you guys a little bit of a quick tour. Hello, of the bathroom. It's pretty simple. You've got the toilet, uh, you've got a shower. <laughs> <laughs> toilet. Please don't use it as shower. a toilet. <laughs> Uh, toilet <laughs> but uh, yeah it's um, pretty st straightforward it is actually a really nice place for the money um, we are paying around 27 euro a night for this place and it is right in the center of Trabzon we're actually very very close as well to one of the large shopping centers so we're definitely gonna go and grab a quick bite to eat bring you guys along with us and yeah this is not going to be our only trabs on video by the way obviously because we just arrived so we're going to be filming here over the next few days and we will bring you a first impressions video where we basically explore the entire city as well so expect that video to come after this one which will be tomorrow tomorrow is sunday so the next video from trabs will be on thursday um, so if you haven't already click that 
notification bell and the red subscribe button so you know when we are posting our next video. So because the weather was not so nice, let's say it like that, um, we decided to come to a local mall to try and search for some food and we just found the funniest restaurant that there is. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, read out the name of this restaurant for obvious reasons because we would probably get demonetized if we would say something like that uh, online but yeah they have usually when you go to malls here they have um, a lot of the normal western restaurants and western shops such as like starbucks mcdonald's burger king arby's and so on and you also have loads and loads of uh, turkey specific shops and restaurants which are all to be honest very very good um, we haven't had a bad experience yet we uh, for example for clothing uh, like to go to lc waikiki or de facto and uh, for food at the moment yeah. we're trying to find a restaurant where we can have something um, obviously you have things like kfc uh, pita places dinner places i don't know what do you feel like eating today I think we got to keep it Turkish for sure, but I don't know. A lot of them are like American fast food restaurants like KFC and Burger King and stuff like that. But I think we might keep it like more on the Turkish side. I might go for like an Iskender or a donor or something like that. I don't know. We will see what we are going to eat. <laughs> so we decided to make a quick little pit stop in Tivada Tabuk was the name of the restaurant. And it does like a, co a combination of chicken, pasta and salad. And that seems to be a little bit of like a popular combination here in Turkey. A lot of restaurants seem to sell that type of food here. So we decided to give it a try and it was very tasty. Came to a total for the two main dishes and two drinks of just over 200 Turkish Lira. Um, it filled us up definitely feeling much better now and it also has finally stopped raining so we cannot wait because the weather for the rest of this week is supposed to be very nice it's supposed to pick up big time the sun is going to be coming out and we're very excited to check out Trabzon itself but for now we're going to head back to our hotel my name is Luke my name is Naomi we are the two mad explorers and this is your reminder to keep exploring and we'll see you guys in the next adventure thanks for watching bye bye